If I was green, this would be so Aussian. Beauty. <laughs> Secrets. Never say never. Let's get you together. Tea spelled on drag 101. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today I bring to you the Rainbow Drag Series Azul. We are here with blue. My name is Bonita Azul. Bonita meaning beautiful, Azul meaning blue. And here we are with this beautiful blue look. Oh my god, can you guys get into my face right now? I am blue brows, blue cut crease, bitch ass liner, white waterline, rhinestones, overline, blue lips, the whole shebang. I've also reincarnated my costume for my music video, Got the Glam. If you guys haven't downloaded that song be sure to download it on itunes and spotify um but nonetheless we are also supporting uh my original breastplate and also a rhinestone bra um i love drag so so much and you guys love drag so much because some of you guys recreated my look from last time i know it's been a while since i've done the look but i have been sick i have been mia but here we are with another video i do want to shout out some sickening people if you guys recreate this look or any of my looks from my youtube channel be sure to post it on social media using the Hashtag star search. Uh, we have JC Wee, so sickening. We created the green makeup by Paradise, Martified, uh, Mason underscore James D, and so much more here on social media. And you guys are just absolutely slaying it. I love it so, so much that I see your looks inspired uh, by something here on my channel. Also, too, I have an idea. Come close, like, come close. But can you guys get into this look? My look is just so sickening. I'm so glad I finally got better to do this. If you guys haven't noticed, I have my voice has changed. I have tonsillitis. I am getting my tonsils removed on May 9. If you guys uh, care to know, I'll be pre-filming a lot. You guys show so much love and support. I cannot do what I do without all of you. And it's just you guys inspire me as much as you guys say that I inspire you. And I love you all so much. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the notification bell comment down below what you guys want to see next and let's just jump right into this video all right guys so here we are I have just concealed my brows powdered it uh, for me personally I don't believe in primers when it comes to drag makeup because we're gonna kick it on so much anyways you want the makeup to really really stick but as far as correcting I am going to correct with the, the dragon beauty oh my gosh Peter do you know the name <laughs> This is the Dragonfire Skin Perfecting Potion. <laughs> Dragonfire Skin Perfecting Potion! <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my dark areas, which I do have a lot. I feel like I look like Captain Hook whenever I do this. I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just sheer it out. What's really crazy is that it's super pigmented, but it does sheer down to a nice corrector level, so you can still get the purpose out of it. I know it looks scary when first applying it, but it does have vitamin A and E to sheer out. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and set this so it doesn't move. And yes, I don't mind putting powder before like foundation. It's everyone's preference, but it gives me like a cake base canvas. I know I did skip a week or two of this rainbow series, but I was sick. I am getting my tonsils removed May 9th. It's the best decision I've ever made, and everyone says it's the worst, and if you guys have your tonsils and you get sick all the time, get them out, see a doctor, and yeah, best of luck. Of course, I'm gonna take my Krylon TV paint sticks. I'm gonna start off with my contour shades here first. What's really cool is that I saw a couple of my friends and a couple of people, and they said, when is your blue look coming out? And I was like, oh my God, once my voice is kind of, sort of back to normal, and it was really cool to see people like, wanting to see this series so thank you guys so much for all your support and love and people were tweeting me yeah and y'all know the, the drill with foundation y'all just gotta cake it on cake it on i will say i like to start off with a contour shade first because sometimes if i put the contour shade on top of my skin tone shade it starts to lighten up because it gets mixed but as you can see we are doing 
what we can and it will be its most true color because it's on the skin first and I'm not mixing it because it's already there. Kind of same with the highlighter. I'm not going to put anything on there, maybe just like a little bit, but for the most part, you see the rest of the bare skin, I'm gonna put my highlighter on. Does that make sense? Am I crazy? Next comes the highlight shade. The more I do these drag looks, the more I feel like I'm learning, and y'all know when it comes to like drag, like you gotta find like your voice and your look and your aesthetic, so I'm starting just to kind of play with different types of drag and find my voice. Cool. And you know what's crazy? When I've watched the different drag queens on the VH1, um, you know, after they get eliminated, they have their tutorial. Each drag queen has their way. And what's crazy is that not all of them have a specific way. They have their own way. So I encourage everyone to find their own way and um, march to the beat of their own drum because that's what drag is. I look like I'm about to be in the cast of Lion King right now. <laughs> Broadway, come on Broadway. Or cats. <laughs> Where is she? Now just to be a little bit extra, I'm gonna take Dior, pretty much spray this all over as like a medium to blend everything together. And make sure if you guys get blending happy, you wanna take your time blending because you don't want your contours to mix too much into the highlights. You want it to be seamless. And if you're like, oh my God, this is so much makeup, then you're doing it right. All right, guys, we are down to the wire with Drag Race. Who are you rooting for? Always and forever, Plastique is my girl. What did you guys think of the Snatch game? I was disappointed and broke. Lynn Heights. What's crazy was that I met her before the show and I got to see her do points in drag and it was the most magical experience ever. I have never seen a girl in drag do point ballet and it was like, wow, wow. Like this foundation job, wow. And she's so nice, she, she talked to me and said some sweet words and I, I really appreciate someone like that. And but yeah, that Snatch Game girl, woo! She knows, but she turns it out with that run white. All right, in the comments below, list your top three. I wanna say my top three is Plastique, Brooklyn, and Raja O'Hara. Oh wait, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. That was so mean, that was so mean. Is that a read? I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp this into the face. Make sure the foundation's being pressed in. I am serving world record A. All right guys, so next is brows. If you guys haven't seen my drag brow video, I highly encourage it. I am still trying to master this, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and take a liquid lipstick before I set my face and apply these brows. And it's cool to have a base. So wish me luck. It's just what I'm gonna do. This is a liquid lipstick on an angle brush. Lego. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my Shape Tape Concealer and further highlights. Just cake on more concealer, why not? And guys, look at my brows. I think I am doing a pretty damn good job getting my brows down. Now I have a guideline, so. Again, like I said, if you guys wanna see it in depth, be sure to check out that video. There are so many videos online, including my in-depth thorough one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my Studio Finish palette really quick. I think I should say this in every video. It's part of the brow video too, but NC50 and NW55. This is my personal palette, and I'm just gonna go ahead and sketch out my nose, starting from the point of the brow. This could be different for every drag queen, but I like it. Let me just like a little more up in here. I'm gonna really beat my face up in here, up in here. What am I doing? This cheek's all the way up here, and then this one's down here. Choices. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know what? I, I will say what I've been obsessed with recently is watching these continental pageants online on YouTube. I really, really wanna go see one in person one day. I haven't been to like a continental system, but one day I'm gonna make it happen and I'm gonna see a pageant in person. What's really cool is that there's, you know, the Miss Continental, like uh, Brooklyn Heights, and then there's like Continental Plus, which is like, you know, a different pageant for the big girls, which is so, so awesome. And I remember when I lived in Orlando, Roxy Andrews was a Continental Plus winner. So, really cool. Know your history. Come on, nose. Feel a little bit too happy with your contour, just erase it right here. 
I just be going too crazy. And then we'll finally set. I get such a satisfaction watching people do their foundation. I hope y'all feel the same way. Cause I be taking forever. There we go. My rhinoplasty. Cute. Now that you've caked your face, I'm gonna take my Ben Nye. I still do have my trusty airspin here, but I've been loving the Ben Nye a luxury powder light for under my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in my airspun literally. Do not breathe in. And just set immediately under here. And go ahead and suffocate the rest of your face with powder. And hold your breath. All right, guys, so I just took a couple of blue shadows, th including this one from Sugar Pill, and I just uh, went ahead and added a gradient to my brows. I don't know if I want to do, like, the hair strokes just yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do my eye makeup, finish rest of my face, and maybe add the hair strokes. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and take this blue shade right here and my M433 brush. Guys, let me show you really quick that I got from Morphe. I stocked up on M433s and M405s, so I can do this drag series properly because it's a bitch trying to wash these brushes. And don't forget to use my discount code PSTAR and Morphe stores all over the nation for 90% off. I think I'm gonna do a halo eye, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this blue color right here and apply her in the crease. And this shade right here is called Velocity by Sugar Pill. Obsessed with Sugar Pill shadows. I'm gonna be so careful. Just extend this out. Do you guys see this pigment? It is so sickening. I love doing halo eyes back then. Especially if you have monolids or want to make your eyes look super big. You can bring the halo up all the way. And this can even work for those of you out of drag. Same color, you guys. Velocity all the way. I'm just packing this on. And I use a lot of baking powder. And you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a lot of fallout. So we're going to catch her ass with this powder. So next I'm gonna take my Certified Tropical Palette and this one is called Coast. It's a beautiful sky blue, but there's, I don't have any in any other palette like it, not even Sugar Pill, but this is the color that I'm looking for, like a baby blue, and just gonna go ahead and buff this up because it's starting to turn a little bit green in person. So I'm gonna take that and blend away. I know this looks really, really horrible, but guys, it's gonna get better. This is just how I do it on my channel. And also, it's to encourage you that things don't have to be perfect. I think a lot of the times, too, on Instagram, you see, like, the perfect snippets, and it's only a minute. But here, I'm showing you the struggle and the craziness because it's gonna look good, and I'll show you at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and take P. Louise Rumor Zero and apply this on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lid. All right, guys, so next, I'm gonna go ahead and take Taco and same flat brush, I just wiped it off. I know, believe it or not. And this is the most purest white ever. It's the same brush and it's the same shape. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and pat it on the center of the lid. And just pack it on. And you can start to see with the contrast of like the dark blue and the white, it looks like the white is just coming forward, coming through. And I'm giving you very Jessica Rabbit kind of eyes. I'm glad I did this series because I just love that we get to play with makeup and pretty much every guy and girl is looking like a drag queen now. I'm just calling it what it is. I would like to have fun with makeup here on this channel. Now to add a little bit more dimension, I'm gonna go ahead and take that same color coast that we used, that light blue, and apply it to each side of the white so there's a little bit of dimension there. And you'll see this start to happen. It's gonna look cute. That's what we like to call shading. Shading in a different way. Okay. Guys, when I tell you that this is easy, it's easy. It just takes a lot of time to have a steady hand. But it's really, really fun, and I hope you guys are able to try this look out because it's just so sickening. And the, the fun part about this is, is because we laid the white down, it allows you to have an easier blend because the powders are just mixing together. I look like I am drawing the Argentina flag on my lid. I know I look crazy, okay? We're just gonna keep going crazy and just keep adding on makeup. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this beautiful uh, Stila um, glitter thingy, and it's called Perlina, and we're gonna go ahead and apply this to the center of the lid, and just go up, all the way up to the crease. And I give it a little sparkle, because we wet, 
struggling. All right, we get in somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Makeup Forever glitter and add more glitter on the top. Yes, a star is born. None of these bitches look better than me. Guys, every time I walk in the club, they hating on me because I know I look good. My hands are right and my cut crease crazy. I took the night. There we go. Mentidosa. Guys, this is the look that I wore to Coachella this year. I look angry. What should I use to line my eyes? All right, guys, so to keep things simple, I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes with the Benefit Roller Liner. One of my favorites ever. Wow, it just glides over so good. Sickening, and we're gonna go ahead and pull that back and follow the direction of our shadow. Look at how dirty my hand is. I am Bob Ross. All right, guys, so I chopped up some lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. And I'm gonna apply my lashes like this. Okay, like this. Straight up and down. You know whose makeup I was obsessed with on RuPaul's Drag Race this season? Is Mercedes. She is literally opulent, honey. Boom, shakalaka. You wanna make sure you push your lashes all the way up because there is a lot of liner on here. And I just went a little bit crazy, but it just shows from far away how beautiful it is. And my eyes look so open and it's very peekaboo. Love it. I'm feeling myself, bitch, okay? Right, so next, I'm gonna go ahead and dust away. You see all this blue fallout right here? It will go away. Watch, just take the brush, whisk it off because of the loose powder. This is my favorite powder so far. It gives me such a soft blur effect, but also covers and is really, really a uh, heavy duty. This is the Essie Lauder Double Wear um, Powder. I've been talking about this in a few of my videos already. I love it. And it's the powder version of the Double Wear Foundation. If you guys don't know the famous uh, Double Wear Foundation, this is the powder version of it. So if you guys really want a heavy duty coverage. Oh, and I'm in the color 5W1. And if you are a luxury kind of gal and you guys love uh, brushes, this brush here by Marc Jacobs called the Bronzing Brush. It's huge. It is so beautiful and so nice on the face. A lot of my, my brushes, you know, including Morphe, some of the big ones, they get a little bit packed with product and they become a little bit scratchy. This one, I can pile so much product on it and it'll still be really, really soft like a baby's bottom. So I'm taking another foundation powder. This one is the Make It Forever Pro Finish. This is 128. I have stocked up on these. I know these are gonna get discontinued, but apparently they're coming out with something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this on my beauty blender and really kick it on underneath. You see how that just like brightens under my eye and it looks so flat. This is the same beauty blender that I used like from the beginning. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the center of my nose. All right, so to bronze, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Mineralize Skin Finish um, Bronzer, Dark Deep. I'm trying to finish this before I use my um, Rihanna Beige on Gial. It's so funny to say, because I just imagine the words, uh, the letters together. I'm gonna go ahead and take this in bronze. I like my eyes. It's like, bam. Right after my bronzer, I will cut. Oh, I'm every woman. It's all in me. Anything you want now, baby. I'll do it naturally. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Stop. I'm not saying, whoa. Where's my bronzer? Been looking for her. She finally found her. This is my bronzer from MAC. I'm gonna snatch my nose with an iconic London brush. Face the light when you're snatching your nose, y'all. That was my first mistake when I started snatching my nose. I don't know what to do, where to go. Guys, I'm looking like a drag queen and I'm in love with that. I should do my makeup like this more often. Even with just my real brows, I'm just like obsessed. All right guys, now it's time for blush. I always get confizzled as to what color to use, whether it's to go pink or peach because you don't want the blush to argue with all the blue that's going on. So I see a color right here in this palette right here. It's this beautiful peach. This is an eyeshadow, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this for blush. Very nice, very nice. Compliments the shadow, very nice. Oh, this is called Suburbia, by the way. Very cute. Now it is time to do the lower um, under, under eye. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my flash palette. I'm gonna use something a little bit different. 
little bit of saffron because I'm saffron. I'm gonna go ahead and take this white and apply it all over the waterline. I do not have, believe it or not, a white pencil, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna apply this all over the waterline. Wish me luck. Cute. Reminds me of my cat's tutorial. And what I'm gonna do is fling this out under the wing. All right, it looks a little bit weird, but you know, we're gonna go with it. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and take Taco by, this shade is so famous, y'all. If you don't have it, it's a must have. Taco white, I'm gonna go ahead and set it. Just roughly, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right guys, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take this black shadow right here on a flat brush and just go around the white to create a new lower lash line. And then I'm gonna bring the black a little bit lower on the center, like where the pupil would be. So it kinda like makes the eyes even more open. It's kinda like to mimic the halo on top. Cute. I wish I could wear my makeup like this every day. You guys might know something, in the past I would've done the white after the black, but this is so much easier that the white's already done. That's why I wasn't so perfect with it because I knew I was gonna define it with the black. Now the black you wanna kinda be, take your time with. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Benefit Roller Liner and just define this line. So it's super like defined. But it's good to kind of just mark it out with an eyeshadow first. So you know what you're doing. Just gonna take a little bit of the blue and just pop it down here for some definition. It's almost like the Bratz Challenge where you're kind of like making a new eye, but not really. So this is like a fun way to do it around your eye. All right guys, I just did bottom lashes. Longest process ever, but so worth it. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off and start my lip. All right, so to stick to today's theme, I'm gonna go ahead and take Marine Ultra by MAC. These pencils are to die for. I'm gonna go ahead and do a blue lip. Look how far I overline, guys. It's not a joke. As long as your lips looks like the McDonald's sign, you're on the right track. This lipstick is so cool by Urban Decay. It's called UVB. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the center. Wow. How cool. I think I'm gonna define it with a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm taking this navy right here from the 35V. It's so beautiful. And I'm just gonna go ahead and shave my lips. Last but not least, spray. I wanna see if these brows will come through or not. No, I don't want it does that. Mac, fix your shit. I like this spray too. This one is the end. Uh... I like wetting my face, guys. Wetting your face is what makes it melt all together. I look like extraterrestrial. This could really do with a nude lip, but since we're doing blue, why not go all the way? I'm gonna go ahead and add some rhinestones, a wig, and my outfit, and I'll be right back for the finished look. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. I am obsessed. Again, per usual, Angel did my hair. Go ahead and follow him. He is so, so talented. But last but not least, I did add a few rhinestones inspired by Naomi Smalls, Farah, and what really made it super drag was adding a bunch of the dark navy to connect my brow down to my nose to give it that snatched, bitchy look. I hope you guys love this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to recreate this look or something blue, something new, please go ahead and post it under the hashtag star search. It is so sickening to see all of your looks once again. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. I love you all so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.